ZNS Total Sport. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Wednesday. This month is one of the most popular for collegiate basketball players and their fans with March Madness comes the madness. March Madness, as it is referred by all millions around the world, Bahamians will be glued to their televisions, watching some of the top Bahamian male and female players. The madness will get started tomorrow. Our Charles Fisher was following all the collegiate players from the start of the season straight into the big dance. The ball will start bouncing for Bahamas come Friday. Three Bahamas playing in the West region in Oklahoma City. Buddy Heal and the number two Oklahoma Sooners square off against number 15 Cal State Bakersfield, both teams with good shooters from the outside. Davario Miller and Texas A&M have been pegged as number three and take on Green Bay. Shaquille Clear and the number six Texas Longhorns, after losing in the first round last year, have another tough First round matchup against the Missouri Valley Champs, number 11, Northern Iowa. Two Bahamians will be on opposite benches when number two, Michigan State, with Lou Rawls' Tom Tom Nen, runs with Conference USA Champs, number 15, Middle Tennessee, and Bahamian Stephen Strawn, playing in St. Louis, Missouri, in the Midwest region. Nathan Bain and the Southland Conference champs, number 14, Stephen F. Austin, have a tough going against Big 12 runners-up, number 3, West Virginia, and Bob Huggins' Press Virginia style of defense in the East region from Brooklyn, New York. We can't forget the ladies. John Quill Jones will lead a number 8, George Washington Colonials, into battle against number 9, Kansas State, in the Sioux Falls region in Columbia. They tip off also on Friday. Also in this region, Coach Yolette McPhee McQuinn, leader number 16, Jacksonville Dolphins, against number one seed, South Carolina. LaShawn Higgs and Texas Longhorns are seeded number two in the Dallas region and have the comfort of playing their first round game at home against number 15, Alabama State, and that will go on Saturday. Good luck to all our behemoths at the NCAA March Madness. For ZNF Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. Thanks so much, Fisher. Some 36 athletes will take part in the Carifta Swimming Championships. The team, inclusive of swimmers from various clubs in the Bahamas and those studying abroad, will leave for Martinique on Sunday. Competition starts on Tuesday. The Bahamas is the two-time defending champs, having won in 2014 and 2015. This year's squad will be without Joanna Evans, last year's High Points winner and most outstanding swimmer. However, the executives in the Bahamas Swimming Federation believe that they can pull off the three-peat. President Algin and Coggle noted that all divisions are strong. This Saturday and Sunday will be all about regatta. The regatta season is in full swing and skippers in the sea class will hit the water, sailing for a cause. The two-day sailing challenge goes toward hurricane rebuilding efforts for the Long Island regatta site. The skippers in that class all thought it fit to compete in the event, which will put them in an unfamiliar sloop. Stephanie is this disregard it because he doesn't even know which boat he's sailing. So if you see Stefan jump on one of those boats that always be in the back and come and come up front, then we'll have to think about, I don't know when we can let him sail no more. Right? <laughs> we may have to say, but Stefan, you have to step aside to teach the young people because there's no competition for him. But. The IAAF World Indoor Track and Field Championships will get started tomorrow. Nine of our elite athletes, including Chris Brown, are in Portland, Oregon for the event. The Bahamian athletes won't start competing until Friday. Our quarter milers are up first, running in the preliminary rounds of the 400 meters. The 60 meters will also take place on Friday morning. Team Bahamas includes Tania Gator, Chavez Hart, Donald Thomas, Latoy Williams, Michael Matthew, Alonzo Russell, Adrian Griffith, Chris Brown, Ashley Riley, and Jamal. Wilson. Local golfers will take advantage of this weekend's tournament playing in the Masters Golf Championship. With the Blue Jacket as one of the top prizes, the golfers will also use the opportunity to sharpen their skills ahead of the Senior National Golf Championships. Uh, to involve the family island facilities a lot more than what we do. And we are now, that's now bearing fruit by virtue of the schedule that we'll be putting out to show that those tournaments are going to be held in the family island territories. Uh, and our efforts is to grow golf uh, throughout the Bahamas. And we know the two in, in the past, and even now, there's a, still a lot of talent in the family islands that we don't even get to see. So this will be a chance for everybody to showcase the talents and also to grow the game in these family islands. 
uh, especially for juniors, to attract them into the sport uh, and to afford them the opportunities that God presents uh, as a whole for educational opportunities, for career opportunities. So that is our whole objective. And I must say that I would like to uh, extend uh, appreciation to those, to those venues uh, and, and Abaco and in Exuma. Uh, as, and Freeport has always been one that has uh, been uh, foremost in, in Gulf and allowing us to have this opportunity to do what we need to be doing in Gulf as a whole for the whole betterment of the community. The Bahamas men's national beach soccer team is putting in work. The squad is preparing for the upcoming FIFA World Beach Cup tournament next year. Since the Bahamas is the host country for the event, the team has a secret weapon in their camp. Huge undertaking, you know, and uh, we're competing on, on a world level um, uh, against teams who are playing, you know, uh, year round, playing in professional leagues, traveling all over the world year round. And so in order for us to be, to be ready, you know, we have to start way in advance, you know. That's all the time we have for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson. This is ZNS Total Sports.